What's up guys? Welcome back to another day in my life. Today is a crazy day because as you guys saw earlier, our apartment is completely all over the place right now because if you guys don't know, on Instagram I actually announced this the other day, but we are moving. We'll be moving next week and we're gonna be moving literally across the country all the way to Indiana. So it's been crazy just trying to pack up the entire apartment and just trying to get everything in order and getting ready to move. And I just figured I would take you guys along today on a day in my life of like moving and what it's been like. I actually have a lot of like YouTube work I need to do today too. I'm vlogging all day obviously, but also I am editing a video and it's kind of a heavier, editing video so it's gonna take me quite a while so i'm actually gonna get started on that right now today i also want to start packing like my kitchen stuff like mostly the food that i know we're not gonna need for the next week because we're only here for literally one more week and that is it it's it, it's literally insane so i want to pack some of my kitchen stuff and then psyche's actually gonna come home in about an hour and a half for lunch i side note slept so bad last night i literally don't think i slept like in an hour at a time at all the whole night like i was just up all night like the baby was kicking me all night long and i was sweating i was so hot I couldn't get comfortable because I'm in the stage of pregnancy now where like you have to sleep on your side You can't sleep on your back and I like cannot sleep on my side at all Like I'm a straight on my back kind of person. So it's been hard But last night was just super rough and so I actually slept until like 9 30 It's 10 45 now, but I slept until like 9 30 today because I was just so I was so exhausted I still am I'm still like drowsy and groggy I feel like from this morning but I have work I need to do, so I'm like gonna get it done. I know all that stuff is gonna get me ready for becoming a mom because I'm not gonna sleep a wink when I'm a mom, so that's gonna be fun. But yeah, last night was just a little rough. So I slept in a little bit more today and now I'm just gonna get cranking. As you guys saw, 
saw I just had some peanut butter jelly toast. It was really good. We got like this sourdough loaf from Target the other day and it was like the most random thing ever, but it was actually really good. And then I had some quiet time. I read Colossians one and two today. Yeah, I read Colossians one and two today. Super good. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get cracking on editing because this is a hefty video that is going to take a while editing it's already going to be up by the time that you watch this video so if you guys want to go watch it it's the what i do when i'm sad night routine or night routine for when i'm having a bad day i'm not really sure what i'm going to title it yet but along those lines i'll have it like linked right here so you guys can watch it but i'm going to go ahead and get cracking on that and i'll see you guys in a little bit when i'm more awake and more energized and when i'm when i've gotten some work done because i need to get some work done Okay guys, I'm super convinced this could be the most boring vlog that I ever upload. It turns out that Psyche is not coming home for lunch because apparently there's like a birthday at his work and so they're gonna have lunch there. So I'm just gonna chill, eat lunch by myself, literally still in these braids. Like I feel like my mind is going crazy from like editing so much. So I'm gonna take a break and like stop working on my video and then eat some lunch. Yesterday our friends Chris and Sarah were nice enough to take us out to lunch. So I actually have like leftover, it's actually Burmese food. It's called Burma Burma, it's Burmese food. And it was so good. I got mango chicken and Psyche got sesame beef. And then we both got coconut rice and I just have some leftovers of all of that. And it was so good guys, seriously. If you're ever in the area, try out Burma Burma. It is so good. It's a bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up without the oranges in it. And this is what I'm gonna have for lunch. Like I was showing you guys earlier, here is literally so many boxes. This is pretty much just all that we have like packed so far. I have a lot of like my clothes that I'm not gonna be wearing. Um, Psyche has some like his thicker winter clothes, but I just have a lot of clothes packed. I have some like decorations and stuff packed, like shoes and towels, like random stuff. And then we have a bunch of extra boxes that we need to pack up. But today what I really wanted to tackle was like this. I just wanna like downsize this. I wanna pack away everything that we're not gonna use for the next week that we're gonna be here. So like, I'm probably not gonna bake anything, so I probably don't need like my flour, my sugar, things like that. Like all the things that I really wanna keep is like, we need to use up the potatoes, the avocados, like our bread, like those kind of things I can keep out. But everything else I want to pack away, like our coffee maker and things like that too. All right, y'all, this is just what it looks like once I plated it. The mango chicken, sesame beef, and the coconut rice. I think I might have to heat it again a little bit, but this is my lunch today. It's going to be so good. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to watch some YouTube while I eat lunch. And let me tell you, I have been so obsessed. I've been watching Colleen Ballinger's vlogs every single day because she's pregnant with twins, um, but she's due in December too. So it's so fun. It's so fun just like having somebody else's due at the exact same time as you to like watch. Like it feels like we're best friends, but obviously like she has no clue who I am, but it's so fun to watch because it's like, we're like going through pregnancy together. Hers is totally different because she's having twins, which is crazy. Like this is her bump already and we are like the same amount actually she's she's less along far along than me i'm farther along than her and her bump is huge but it's because she's having twins it's just really really cool if you guys are pregnant i would love to know because i love being friends with people online they're like do around the same time that i am because it makes it so much more real it makes it feel like we're friends we can go through it together it's like there's like nobody else in my life that like is due around the same time that i am so if you guys are due in like november december let me know because I want to be friends. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and watch her vlog today while I eat lunch. I built a rocket in my basement. I'm going to fly it to the moon. This supersonic is amazing. You're going to feel my sonic boom. I'm flying higher and I'm never coming down. Look at me now. It's officially moving day and we have 
all this stuff <laughs> going in a truck. And we got some waters and snacks for the movers. And yeah, all this stuff is going in the truck. Welcome to our empty apartment. No, it's sad. Kind this is sad. us masking our emotions. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Okay, guys, welcome to our empty apartment. It's very sad. Kind of sad. Um, we are interrupting this part of the vlog because we needed to end the vlog because I actually ended up in the hospital while I was filming this vlog and I never got to finish the vlog because we were in the emergency room. So basically what happened was it is Wednesday now, Wednesday the 18th, and last Wednesday, a full week ago, I was experiencing some pretty bad chest pains. It was the day that I was filming the vlog. So whatever vlog y'all just watched, it was that day. At the end of the day, we were in line to get dinner somewhere and I just was experiencing some chest pains. And it was like pretty bad. Like I was like holding the rails and I was like, ooh, like this is like pretty, some pretty intense chest pains. And I had never like felt them before. I didn't know what it was, but I kind of was like, okay, you know, if it's like super bad, it'll come back and then we'll see what we should do about it. So it lasted for about 30 minutes the first time. And then it went away and then it came back again like maybe an hour later and it lasted for probably 10 to 15 minutes. Went away again and then one more time right as we were falling asleep, it happened again. So I don't know how I remember how long that one was. But it happened three times consecutively like within the, the span of like three hours. And it was like some pretty intense chest pains and we were like super on the edge of what to do because it's like you never want to go to the emergency room if you don't have to go to the emergency room. Obviously like having chest pains is a super serious thing and like anything with pregnancy is a pretty serious thing like you don't want to mess around with that but we actually had something really important to do the next morning we actually had a funeral for one of our um family members and we were kind of like you know should we go to the er it was like midnight wasn't it like it was like really late yeah it was and like i was like i just don't want to go to the emergency room like if it comes back tomorrow we'll go tomorrow for sure if it keeps happening but like let's just go to bed <laughs> let's pray let's go to bed and that's it so i ended up going to bed and i like slept through the night fine Praise the Lord. And then I woke up the next morning and everything was fine. But then later in the day when we came back to the apartment, I was experiencing, it was like very heavy. It just didn't, it wasn't the same chest pains. It was just like heavy. Like every time I would go to breathe, it would just like be really heavy. And I knew it was my heart. Like it was right here, like down here. I'm not gonna point exactly where, you know where. <laughs> <laughs> but it was uh, down there. I was like, I knew it was my heart. And so I ended up just being like, you know what? Day two of this happening, let's just go into the emergency room. Cause I was gonna call my doctor and be like, hey, what should I do? But we all knew chest pains and pregnancy. Like they're just gonna tell you to go to the emergency room. Yeah. So that's what we did. We ended up going to the emergency room the Thursday. It only took two hours. Yeah, it actually it was wasn't crazy. that bad. It, it We got in there very fast and they, of course, like usually chest pains and are- And pregnancy together. Yeah, well I was gonna say, usually chest pains are like priority, but also like chest pains and pregnancy if they're gonna try to get you in right away. So we did an EKG. The EKG came back fine, which means I didn't have a heart attack, which is what we were like praying the most, like hopefully mm -hmm. I didn't have yeah. a heart attack because it was just really scary. So the EKG came back fine and then we did EKG, they did blood work, they did a COVID test and then we also, they sent somebody from labor and delivery to try and like just check and make sure the baby was good. So the EKG came back good and then I did blood work and then we had to wait 45 minutes for the blood work and then 45 minutes for the COVID test. And so while, they, while we're waiting for the results to come back, we actually had the person from labor and delivery come and check on the baby and everything was fine. Mm -hmm. Heartbeat was great and he was just squirming around and I could like feel him the whole time anyway so I knew he was fine. He's been a very active little boy. Yes, he's very, he's very active. Like, yes. likes to kick mom a lot. <laughs> <laughs> then the blood work came back and he came in and told us that apparently my iron was very, very low. It was super low. So backstory a little bit, even pre-pregnancy, I struggled a lot with anemia and I was very low iron even pre-pregnancy. So I used to take iron, I used to take like, like pretty hefty supplements for, for iron just because I've always you know been a little bit anemic but you know going in for pregnancy obviously when you get pregnant you get blood work done pretty frequently so all my blood work that I had gotten done they told me that I was fine with iron and if you guys have been pregnant or know anything about it for like when you take a prenatal vitamin they specifically say on it if they contain iron or not so they told me that I would take, should take the one with like no iron in it because I was not anemic at all, like in my initial blood work. And so I had been taking the prenatals that were just the generic prenatals and did not have iron. It said specifically, does not include iron, does not contain iron. Because different women require different things. And that's one of the things where it's like you don't have 
an abundant amount of it, but you don't want to have too little. So he came in and told me that I'm pretty, pretty severely anemic. You, and you, were, you were close to having to get a blood transfusion. Yeah, so, so he said from the beginning funny. of my pregnancy to now, looking back at the records, he actually called my doctor and like he saw that all the blood work, my iron had consistently gone down. And then the day that we went into the emergency room when we checked for the iron, it was like only two points away from a needing a blood transfusion. Yeah. So that was really scary. I was really glad we got there. Like when we did, it did not get any lower because that's a pretty scary thing. Praise the Lord. We got in there before Amen. and actually like got super low. And so I'm, we're really glad that we actually went in because if not, who knows what would happen. Yeah. Um, and basically how this connects to my heart is, so if you know what like iron and like red blood cells, red blood cells basically like give your blood oxygen. And this, I'm, I'm not like a scientist, I'm just relaying what they told me. The red um, blood cells give you oxygen, and like move oxygen throughout your body. And there wasn't enough oxygen getting to my heart. And so it was causing like lots of chest pains. And so he said, that's usually what happens when it's like, pretty like severely low is like it'll start to get start getting chest pains because not enough oxygen is flowing through your heart so glad we got like some answers we ended up like leaving after that covid test was fine baby like results were fine everything was good and all we have to do is take iron now so that's exciting hopefully obviously we're moving so hopefully when i go to the new doctor i'll get blood work again and hopefully the iron will have gotten back to a healthier more average or normal level because if not it could go it could be bad so praying that everything goes good, taking my iron supplements, and just being very um, strategic about meals that I eat that have iron in them. Steak. Steak. <laughs> and spinach. Steak. I think blueberries? I think, I don't know. I think so. I think like a spinach blueberry smoothie. <laughs> Anyways, th so that was the crazy thing happened at the hospital, which is why I never finished this vlog. So this is the most crazy vlog of my life. Like I literally, the beginning of it, was like already pretty boring and then like all of a sudden I got in the hospital so that there's that but I also wanted to come on here just to update you guys because like the last time you saw me I was just packing to leave and now we're literally sitting in our empty apartment so pretty much since then we've just been packing Psyche's family has been amazing at helping us and coming and helping us pack and mm -hmm. clean everything seriously been so helpful this morning the movers came and took everything they took everything like all of our boxes everything and so they're heading to Indiana within like one to two weeks and then we're leaving in two days we're leaving on friday today's wednesday and we'll be heading to indiana so it's super exciting i realized like so many of you guys had questions because pretty much i was very generic in our announcement i just said hey we're moving to indiana and that was pretty much it so i'm planning on doing like a whole q a answering like all your guys' questions but obviously the most asked question was like why like why are you moving to indiana like it doesn't make sense like why <laughs> <laughs> and honestly there's a lot like there's a ton of reasons for why we made this decision but ultimately the main decision is that this is what we believe the lord has for us in this season right now and just in having the baby and there is there is something that we really feel called to to go to after the baby is born which you guys will find out eventually which is not indiana but indiana is a lot closer to where we actually want to end up and so we are just kind of being patient in the Lord's timing and really trusting that everything's going to fold out in his timing because it's already been so evident and he's already provided so many like supernatural amazing ways so we know like we're making the right decision and it, it's hard yeah I mean his family is here and it's hard we have a church family here it's it is a hard decision but ultimately we know this is the best decision for us and for our family and we're actually going to be moving in with my parents so that's fun <laughs> I'll talk about that more in like a Q&A, but they have like a really big house. So we're actually going to have like our own like room, our own bath, like everything upstairs. It's kind of separate. It's going to be really awesome. And we're really thankful that we have the option right now because honestly, that's a huge financial blessing. And just to have my family, you know, I know if you're a woman out there and being pregnant, it's, it's super crucial to, you know, want to have your mom there. So totally I'm excited about that for sure. But it is super extremely bittersweet leaving because... Obviously, we're leaving some other family behind and also just our church family. It's a, it's a lot, you know, so it's, this whole season has been a lot. Obviously, like being pregnant and all this happening has been like a lot going on. Like packing has been super overwhelming and just everything has kind of just been like 
and I get kind of overwhelmed and I just like shut down a little bit so everything's been overwhelming but that's the main reason you know is we're, we're really close to my family we're literally in the same house as my family but also you know expenses are a lot a lot cheaper in Indiana and ultimately we do feel this is the right decision that's gonna lead us to the next uh, thing where we really feel like the Lord is calling us so I know it's like super vague kind of and like you're probably still confused but just follow along subscribe you guys will love coming on this journey with us because I am entertained by our journey. <laughs> the answers shall be revealed. The soon. answers shall re be revealed in time. <laughs> yes. Just be patient. Just be patient. Just keep swimming. We're Just patient. Keep... You be patient. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, ultimately just super excited to bring you on this journey. Moved into Indiana literally in two days, so wish I could have vlogged more of the packing process, but like you so just heard, hectic. a lot just went on <laughs> yeah. within like a, less than a week. So there was a lot. Yeah, hopefully I'll film a lot more. I'm filming on planning the road trip, so that's a super Ooh. exciting because we're actually taking a road trip for five days across country gotta to bring, Indiana. Gotta bring the truck, man. <laughs> yeah, this is because we're bringing his truck, so. We'll be doing like a five day road trip. We've never, neither of us have ever done a cross country road trip. So yeah. that's gonna be interesting. That's yeah. gonna be exciting. <laughs> we're hitting, let's see, we're hitting one, two, three. Tell them where. Four. Oh, so we're hitting Colorado, Nevada, Wyoming, Nebraska, and Iowa. And Indiana. Uh, Illinois and Indiana. So we're hitting yes. seven states. And we're going to the Field of Dreams movie site. And For all you baseball And we're going nerds. to baseballism at the Field of Dreams spot which is really cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm really excited. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so seriously guys, if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe because we have do so it, much it, exciting it. stuff. I mean, obviously like we're literally having a baby. Well, so there's that. So that's and exciting. You, finally, you will eventually get to know the name of said baby. I wanna hear you guys' baby name guesses. <laughs> Leave it in the comments. <laughs> but that's the most update for now. I Like I said, I will do like a full video Q and A of like, why we're moving, where we're moving, like all this stuff. Cause I know as like a subscriber of other people, I wanna know, like I'm like, I watch you because I wanna know about your life. So like, tell me all <laughs> your secrets. So we'll let you know, but I just wanted to end this vlog just updating you a little bit because that was a very hectic vlog and a very hectic week. So a lot went down. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we yeah. love you guys. Thank you for, if you guys made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I know this one's definitely a longer one, but it was it was necessary and I needed to have some way of getting out more information to you guys because you guys were like left on a cliffhanger for quite a while because I literally put on Instagram, hey, like went to the ER yesterday, now we're going to a Giants game. Like, Oh yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people were like, oh uh, what? what? <laughs> so hopefully this answers some questions and we'll see you guys on our road trip oh. or in Indiana. I haven't decided what we're gonna film, but we're, we'll see you eventually. Okay. We're gonna see you. Yeah. That's exciting. So we get to move and it's exciting and crazy and blah, blah, blah. it's like, blah, like vomit. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, we love you and we'll see you guys very, very soon. I'm very excited. So stay tuned for the journey. Stay tuned. Subscribe and give this video a like. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.